First, before we can use the scanners for the recount, we have to test the scanners to make sure that they're operating properly. So we'll get a test deck of 100 ballots. 25 will be from the handwritten ballots and 75 from the uh, ballot marking device. And we'll test all eight scanners. We have to take the memory sticks out of the scanners and take them back to the main office so that we can upload them and see what they come up with. And if they don't come up with the same result as what we expect, then they can't be used in the scanning. Well, we have until uh, the end of day on, the, on December 2nd, so that's how long it will take. And then uh, we're really not calculating how much it costs because this is kind of business as usual. Uh, you know, if, if a candidate has less than half a percent difference in the margin, then they're allowed to have a recount. Well, it is uh, time consuming, especially after just completing the hand audit. Um, but it, again, it's part of the process, so we have to follow through with all of that. Uh, we do have a short time frame for the runoff, so uh, we do have a lot of work ahead of us.